What happens here stays here. It's mm -hmm. one of the most famous advertisement lines in history. That's right, and we know it as what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Joining us live this morning is Randy Snow from R and R Partners and Rossi Rallen Cotter from the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. They're here to tell us about their new ads and what's in store for Sin City. What happens here stays here. One of the most iconic ads ever, gentlemen, and uh, tell us the story behind its creation. It goes back about, oh, I don't know, 12 years or so. Uh, we were working on what we thought was, what we were planning on a new campaign based on research that had told us that the essence of the relationship between our customers and our destination was adult freedom and the freedom to do things and be things and see things and experience things that you're not going to see or experience at home. And we were working on a new campaign, and a couple of the young writers came into my office on a July afternoon in 2002 and said that they had come up with the same idea independently of one another at almost the same time. And the basic genesis of the idea was to create these stories within the 30-second framework of an ad, but leave out three or four or two or whatever of the more interesting or provocative details of the story and fill that in with a camera card that simply said, what happens here stays here. You're not going to learn that. And uh, that's, that was the idea behind it. That is what we have stuck with and uh, adhered to uh, over the course of 10 decades, I mean, uh, 10 years for a decade, so many spots. And it still resonates with our customers. They still want to know if we test any kind of other creative, they always want to know what happened to what happens here stays here. And we <laughs> always reassure them that it's not going anywhere. It will come <laughs> back, and it has. It's definitely a classic, uh, classic line. But what about uh, the people's perception of it? Do you think it's really helped Las Vegas? Oh, most definitely. Uh, if you look at the, the growth in visitation over the 10 years, we went from 35.5 million visitors uh, 10 years ago to we'll have over 40 million visitors in, in 2013. And it's been part of our success, along with the reinvention of Las Vegas. That continues to happen. Our, the investment by our hotel owners uh, provide all the things that people want to have in a vacation or, or a meeting. And so it has been very impactful for us, the fact that, that the research has allowed us to connect with our customers, it, about all about that adult freedom and permission to travel and permission to have a good time and, and have fun. So so uh, we've been able to develop advertising strategies, uh, brand campaigns, sales campaigns around that. And so uh, that's been a very critical part of our success. Well, well, I know a good portion of all those visitors are from Hawaii because Hawaii residents love Las Vegas. Uh, yes, they do. In fact, the University of Hawaii is going to be here for a football game, so we hope a lot of people from Hawaii will be coming over to see uh, Hawaii play University of Las Vegas in football. But, but the Hawaiian marketplace is very critical to us. We have a lot of a very good air service uh, to the islands, and so uh, we, we uh, encourage everyone to come and visit us. Well, gentlemen, thank you for your time. It is certainly a successful campaign. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Only Prince Harry wishes uh, that were true, <laughs> right, gentlemen? All right, thank you for joining us here this morning. Thanks.